all you need to know about ridges and fingernails. Your nails provide important information about your health. If you have nail ridges, don't ignore them. Talk to your doctor so you can find out the cause and how to treat it if necessary. With time and treatment, you may see new, smoother nails grow in. And if your nail ridges aren't due to a health condition or deficiency, home nail care may help. What are ridges in nails? Ridges in your nails are visible lines or dents in your fingernails or toenails. The ridges may run vertically, up and down, or horizontally across your nail. Ridges in your nails can be a sign of a health condition or a previous injury to your nail. In some cases, they're harmless. Possible causes. Vertical fingernail ridges are common and typically harmless. They often become more noticeable with aging. Why do nails have ridges? Horizontal ridges, bows lines, result from the nail temporarily slowing or stopping the growth and are more likely to result from a medical event or condition. Vertical ridges in nails. Vertical ridges are furrows that run from the tip of your fingernail down to the cuticle. They are sometimes called longitudinal striations or bands. According to slight vertical ridges in fingernails, often develop in older adults, possibly due to a slowing of cell turnover. This is when new skin cells produced below the surface of your skin rise up to take the place of discarding dead cells from the surface. If you experience other symptoms like texture changes in your nails, it may be caused by a medical condition. In tracheonychia, 20 nail dystrophy, the ridges may look shiny or brittle. Iron deficiency anemia can also trigger vertical ridges and changes to your nails that make them concave or spoon-shaped. Why do we get horizontal ridges then? Now that we understand how a nail normally grows, we can move into explaining what exactly causes the horizontal ridges we sometimes see in nails. The nail matrix that builds our nails is made up of special cells that are supplied by a rich number of blood vessels. This means that Whenever there are periods of stresses on the body, such as an illness, pregnancy, delivery, or certain medications like chemotherapy in the body, these special nail matrix cells are sensitive to these changes. They can damage the ability of the nail matrix to produce the nail plate, and therefore, for a period of time, the matrix cells aren't feeling themselves, and they start to produce less thick or healthy nail. Over time, the stressor on the body fades away and the cells go back to making thick nails as before. But the evidence of that stress phase on the body can still be seen by us when we look at the nail plate. We see the horizontal depression's ridges for many months afterwards until enough new, healthy nail has grown out and the ridged area gets cut off. Horizontal ridges or bows lines can be an indication of injury and accidents such as dropping a book on the fingernail can cause bruising to form underneath the nail and may temporarily change its shape. Bruising can cause reddish-brown spots to form underneath the nail, which will go away gradually as the cells heal and the nail grows out. If discoloration shows up without an accident or injury, it may be a sign of something more serious. Dark brown, purple, or red spots under the nails may be signs of serious conditions, such as melanoma or endocarditis medical conditions, eczema, psoriasis, perichoritosis pustulosa, deformed nail surrounded by red scaly skin, fever, severe malnutrition, pemphigus, causes blisters, sores, and fluid-filled bumps on the skin. Raynaud's disease causes blood vessels in the fingers to narrow in response to cold or stress. Heart attack, psychological stress, mumps, an acute contagious virus, pneumonia coronary thrombosis, blood clot in the blood vessels or arteries of the heart, Kawasaki disease, acute inflammatory condition of unknown cause that involves inflammation in blood vessels, syphilis, hippoparathyroidism, insufficient production of parathyroid hormone. These factors cause a temporary disruption to nail growth. The horizontal line forms from this temporary lack of growth and then moves up the nail as the nail grows. Vertical ridging may be a result of conditions such as vitamin and mineral deficiencies, including vitamin B12, iron, zinc, 
or magnesium deficiencies. What are the most common causes of ridges in males? Certain health conditions and nutrient deficiencies can cause ridges, dents, or lines in your nails. Common causes of vertical nail ridges, also called longitudinal ridges, include digestive disorders. Digestive disorders that affect the absorption of nutrients may also influence the nails. Crohn's disease, celiac disease, and ulcerative colitis are all examples of disorders that can make it difficult for the body to absorb nutrition from food. If the body does not have the proper building blocks to make new cells, the skin and nails may suffer. Normal aging, many people develop vertical ridges on their nails as they get older. These lines aren't dangerous. Skin conditions, if you have very dry skin or eczema, you may have vertical lines on your nails. Thyroid disease. If you have hypothyroidism, you may have thick, brittle nails with vertical ridges. Your nails may also crumble or break easily. They may look more rounded and your fingertip may be puffy. Horizontal ridges or dents in your nails are usually due to a condition called Bose lines. These dents may happen when something interrupts your nail growth. Possible causes include chemotherapy, damage from using artificial or acrylic nails, or getting gel manicures for long periods. Injury to your nail, like slamming your finger in a door or dropping something on your foot. Peripheral vascular disease. Severe illness with high fever, measles, or pneumonia. Care and treatment. How are ridges and nails treated? First, see a healthcare provider to find out the underlying cause. Treating the cause can usually improve the look of your nails and allow healthy nails to grow in. For instance, medication for thyroid disease often improves or resolves related nail problems. Taking iron or zinc supplements with your provider's guidance may help if you have a deficiency. However, it takes several months for your nails to grow out and it takes time to see a change in your nails. If you have Bose lines from a previous illness, the lines should gradually grow out. But if you keep getting new Bose lines, tell your provider, repeated Bose lines could be a sign that you have a condition that keeps interrupting your nail growth. What can I do at home to treat ridges in nails? If your provider has ruled out any health conditions, you can treat nail ridges with home care. The ridges may not go away completely, but you can improve the appearance of your nails if you apply moisturizer to your nails and cuticles daily to relieve dry skin or eczema. At bedtime, apply a skin cream to your hands and put on thin cotton gloves for sleeping. You can also apply a cream to your feet and wear cotton socks. If you have diabetes or neuropathy, talk to your healthcare provider about foot care. Ask your provider about taking biotin supplements which could help with nail growth. Don't bite your fingernails or cut your cuticles. How can nail ridges be prevented? There's no guaranteed way to prevent nail ridges, but seeing your provider as recommended can help. Tell your provider about any health changes, including changes to your nails. If you develop nail ridges, your provider can work with you to treat the underlying cause. When to call the doctor. When should nail ridges be treated by a healthcare provider? Always tell your provider if you notice new ridges or lines in your nails. You may not need treatment, but you won't know until you find out what's causing the ridges. Other nail changes to mention to a healthcare provider include changes to the shape of your nails, including nail clubbing or spoon shaped nails, color changes in your nails, including white, green, yellow, or dark marks. Dents, nail pitting, redness, and swelling around one or more of your nails. The information on the Fine Health Channel is offered solely for general and educational reasons and does not replace professional medical guidance or treatment. For any ailments or medical concerns you may have, please get advice from a physician. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more informative videos.